In this overview, we're going to discuss customizing your keyboard shortcuts. And actually, we're going to talk about understanding shortcuts to begin with. So to start, what, the one thing I advise any new user of Corel, or even experienced users, is you know, make sure you're using shortcuts. It's going to help you save time, create greater efficiencies in design, and really the best way to learn uh, shortcuts is to explore the drop-down menus and uh, your toolbar. So here I am at the File drop-down menu, and here we have all the titles of the functions. So we have New, New from Template, Open. Now to the right of all of those uh, functions, you'll see a shortcut. So for example, if I want to create a new document in Corel, the shortcut would be Control N. So definitely take advantage of the, the default shortcuts that are already in your system. You can see that there's plenty that are already uh, set up by default. Additionally, with your uh, toolbars, notice I'm hovering my mouse now over the ellipse tool. F7 would be the shortcut for the uh, ellipse tool. F8 on the keyboard would immediately activate the ellipse tool, or excuse me, the text tool. In fact, I'll hit F8 now on my keyboard. Notice how I can just start typing out text. So it's just a great way to navigate and negotiate through features a lot uh, quicker uh, by using keyboard shortcuts. Now let's talk about how do we learn about all of these default shortcuts. Well, you can explore your menu, or you can simply go to Window, or excuse me, Tools, Options, and from Options, we'll want to maximize the Workspace area, and go down to Customization, and then we'll go down to Commands. We'll go ahead and select Commands. So notice when we're in this uh, area here, I can click on Keyboard Shortcuts, and what we can do is we can View All. So if I click View All, these are all of the default shortcuts that are assigned uh, to Corel out of the box. Now, I don't expect you to memorize all of these, but I do expect that you should memorize maybe the top 15 that you most commonly use. Now, if you're really nerdy, you can export this to an Excel file, or you can print this off and kind of use it, maybe highlight it, figure out what would be useful to you. And uh, I'll go ahead and close this. Now, the one thing that I like to do is I like to customize my shortcuts. So some of the most common functions I use don't have a keyboard shortcut, like wireframe, for example. So what I can do is you can go to the specific menu uh, you know, that, that you might be contending with, and we can go and assign a shortcut to that particular feature. So make certain to go to the drop-down menu here, and I'll negotiate down to, to View. Let's go down here to View. And from View, I want to select Wireframe. So we'll go down to the bottom here. Let's see, we will go to Wireframe. And uh, from Wireframe, I'm going to go to uh, Shortcut Keys, and you can see if anything is currently assigned. And always select Navigate to Conflict on Assign. That will tell you if, if that particular shortcut has already been assigned to another tool. And oftentimes that might be a tool that you'll never use, so we can go ahead and override that. So at present, I want to say W should be my shortcut. Um, currently it's not assigned to anything, so I'll go ahead and assign W to Wireframe. And you can see right now it says current shortcut keys W. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And if I hit W on my keyboard now, do you see how I can toggle right to the wireframe mode? The other thing I'd advise is setting up a keyboard shortcut for enhanced. So you can toggle to a wireframe and then back to enhanced just by hitting one key on your keyboard. And obviously that will save you a lot more time than going view, enhanced, view, wireframe. If you do that 50 times a day, uh, that will be a lot of time saved using keyboard shortcuts.